Hello everyone, I'm Paul Bertarelli with some follow-up coverage from Sun and Fun 2010. We spent some time with famed airshow pilot Dale Snodgrass, whose performances include shows in the F-86 and P-51 Mustang. This year, he's flying a new routine in the Moraine Saulnier MS-760 Paris jet. Here are some observations on that show. In the, in the, in the airshow routine that I've designed for the MS-760, its roots of, the roots of the airshow are very similar to what I fly in the F-86. And from a structural standpoint, this airplane is probably actually even stronger than my F-86. So the, the question was, when I started the routine, would, because this is a trainer, smaller, smaller engines, et cetera, would I have the thrust, the weight, and the power to execute the routine that I would want to do? And it turns out I have more than enough power. The airplane is, uh, is very, very maneuverable. It's very light in pitch. Uh, and, and this airplane in particular is very nice in roll also. So I was absolutely thrilled with the performance of the over, overall uh, uh, capability of the airplane aerobatically. It's very stable. It's a great formation platform, which was also very good. We haven't seen that really yet but because our second air show airplane is. But we're going to do the aerobatic, a formation aerobatic routine in close formation. And the airplane is wonderful to fly in, in close formation. Kit. You can't compare an airplane like this or even the F-86 to an F-14 or an F-15 or an F-16 because you just don't have that massive thrust to weight capability. You know, one to one thrust to weight or even excess of one to one thrust to weight. So, but overall this airplane, I'm flying this airplane to my air show routine at about 95% power. Uh, which is a pretty equivalent to what I do in, my, in the F-86. So once you get the airplane up to speed, when I roll in for our first maneuver, we're accelerating to probably about 330 knots. Then from that point on, it's very easy to maintain the energy. So I could keep on doing vertical maneuvers all day long, actually, uh, and, and still have enough energy coming out of the airplane. So it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm very, very impressed with the overall capability of the airplane aerobatically. When we first got in it a year ago, when I proposed this to us, I was moderately skeptical. And, and I've been totally, completely surprised. This airplane, well, we found out it has absolutely matched performance to an L-39. We've gone out and done side-by-side -side acceleration, side-by-side -side formation aerobatics, formation takeoffs, everything. We come back, we have the exact same fuel burn and the same capabilities. So this is basically a four-place L-39 aerobatically. The only thing you could do if the airplane had more thrust would be to just, you could go you could be slower and then climb out more vertically. So, you know, on takeoff, I can't stand it on its tail and climb to 10,000 feet like I could in an F-14 uh, or somebody with an F-16. So that's, that's, that's the difference there. But once you're up and away, I mean, I can do a 360 degree turn and sustain seven or eight, or not, not seven or eight, but probably four to five Gs. I was pulling about, I, 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 the G meter came back, I, was, I pulled six Gs about three or four times. Uh, and air speeds were running around uh, anywhere from 280 to 330 knots, depending on which maneuver I was doing. The airplane has a pretty big wing, so it has a fairly low wing loading. So it has the capability to turn tight. So really, I'm just trying to extend, the, extend my corners so that I can get the maneuvers in the package.